Hey guys, welcome back to some more Ashes Cricket 2009. I'm Joe, if you're new around here. And make sure you do subscribe for regular cricket content. Today we're going to continue the first test match. We just started our batting innings. We're currently 19 um, without loss. So, yeah, without further ado, let's get into it. Was a bit of a reckless one, it has to be said. Mm, not the best. No sort of commentary I'm from sure Mayor. Uh, oh, here we go. Crucial for a bowler, isn't it, Sony? Line and length is absolutely crucial to any bowler. Uh, if you don't bowl the right line and the right length, no matter how much you swing it, no matter how much you spin it, you will find yourself being dispatched, especially if the batsman's any, any good. So, uh, yes, I think that uh, that old um, habit or that old a bit of advice that uh, we used to be given, get a handkerchief out and put it in the area that you consider to be the right length and just practice a way to establish that you've got it right stands good now as it did then. Well, we're getting a decent amount of runs here, scoring at a decent rate, but, you know, that's what we're going to have to do to get back that first uh, innings deficit. Let's take that's another look at that. Nowhere in near. I can't believe they even appealed that. I, I'd like to see it on Hawkeye. Wow. It was, it was sort of the fourth stump of... If you put three stumps next to the bats, oh, what a shot that is! That is four beautiful shots through the uh, the covers there. He's got into a perfect position for that shot. Head over the ball, wait forward. A beautifully timed. Sh and there you go. Eighteen fouls to cook already. Mitchell Johnson comes in now. Well, another good shot there. The bats when are coming back for a second. We'll come back for three here. Yeah, good well, what's running. What's going to say about this one? Good running. So 30 without loss already. Very, very, very promising. Edge. Ooh, edged. But I think it's going to go for four. Or is the fielder going to catch it? He is. Batsmen change their mind. Whew. No ball. That was a sloppy piece of cricket. Nice back foot cover drive there. Batsman coming back for two. And come back for three as well. Yeah, very good run in there. And the no ball makes it up to four. Very, very good start here. Starting to time it really, really well here. Ah, no, 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 no. Oof. So yeah, can we, can we go and get our first innings lead in this match? And you know, we're obviously going to try. Great stroke play. Just a lovely shot. Absolutely beautiful. And another four. Well, if you want to show the kids the perfect. They're just bowling in the wrong areas here. Yeah, nice timing. Just can it. Oh, can I keep bowling that wide? I mean, that's what I was saying, but inside edge there, and that could have quite easily been out. Thin edge. Mm, outside edge that time. So. No runs off that delivery. Not too bad. 42 without loss. Obviously, we're going at a crazy rate at the moment, but uh, yeah, I'm sure that will slow down as the uh, line tightens up. He's hit that well. But that is a brilliant shot for four. Once again. Too many more deliveries like that, and the captain might have to take him off. Give him width, and you'll get punished. 
27 Alistair Cook's on. Is he going to get the first 50 of the series? A time in the air. And it's out. Well, top edge. I think I played <laughs> commentator's curse there. That was ridiculous. Top edge there. And there's again another bouncer. Top edge. And it's a good catch. And held on to as well. So here comes Ian Bell at number three. Well, I'm sure the new batsman will look to play himself in. Here he comes. What can he do? Again, the ball and short. Oh, it's dropped. He might have well, that, but he couldn't stop it. It was in the he air. He didn't seem to know where he was going when he set off after the ball. Well, that was a very poor start for me and Bell there. Edged. Again, not the best. Not the best. Might just have to bat him in a little bit here. Again, edged. That's going to run down for four very streaky runs there. Well, he didn't not quite timing it how we'd like to. Before. Very quick ball and not. But we did keep it out of the, the stumps at the end of the day. Yeah, much better time in there. Getting forward, getting the block in there. No run there. The well, can't get it away. Another over gone. Get off the over. Lead starts a new over. Brett Lee. So Alistair Cook gone now. So Andrew Strauss is the Eight. man that uh, is in now. Batsman are coming back for a second. He's got his eye in already. Should be looking to. You know, captain his team to a good score here. Oh, lovely shot. Lovely shot off the legs for Ian Bell there. Nice two there. He's feeling bold, apparently. I'll tell you what, they're, they're like going on short oh dear that's out it is let's take another look at that in I cancelled the run as soon as I pressed triangle but he was already away look at him yeah nowhere near his crease and well here he comes the man the myth the legend Kevin Peterson so left hand right hand pairing at the crease now What can he do? He's hesitant, apparently. Oh, great shot. What a start. It was high in the air, that's but it was in the gap, and that's the main thing. Well, what can I say? He looks in top form today. Uh, i tell you what, we're going to try and be entertaining with KP. And that is a great start to that quest. But it's mistimed that, it's run away off the edge. Just gotta be slightly careful not to get him out early. That's another nice shot through the covers. That's when they're coming back for two. Come back for three here. Yeah, nice running. And nice running. Fast bowler to start a new over. Peterson once again. Tell you what, that was close to being out there. Get him off strike. If he balls in that area here, that I means on his pads. Edged. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. 
That's a nice shot. Through the covers. Batsman Come back for two. For a second. Mix Get up back. The It's in the air. Oh, it's dropped. He's well, a <laughs> little bit of a risky shot from us there. Trying to lift it over the infield with the full toss. But we couldn't manage it. Yeah, nice defensive drive. Yep. Do you think there's more variety in spin bowling now than there ever has been in the past? The variety in spin bowling these days is interesting. Um, certainly there's quite a bit of it. We've got Shane Warne on the one hand down in Australia. We've got Mathaya Murli Dhiran bowling absolutely brilliantly for Sri Lanka. And then there is uh, the next crop of spinners and there are quite a lot of those too. Guys like Victoria in New Zealand and uh, of course plenty of others around the world. Not quite as good as the first two that I mentioned. Um, I'm not too sure that there's more variety in spin. I can remember playing against an Indian team that had four spinners and absolutely no fo Oh, wow. Well. That is unlucky. We timed that absolutely perfectly. And it was just low and hard to his right. And he caught it. And, well, we're three down now for 66. Any lapses in concentration here? In comes Paul Collingwood, though. These two always tend to have a, a fairly decent partnership. Collingwood works it through the gap. That's when they're looking for two. Come back for three. Good running. Very good running indeed. He's got the edge. Peterson not playing brilliantly so far. If there's uh, first shot brilliance. That's a nice shot just to get back on ball. I always used to like to, to play a few defensive strokes just to get a bit of bat on ball, get your eye in. And there you go, that's a brilliant shot. Square cut for four there. From KP. From the moment it left his back. He picked the length really early there. Well, the bowlers are taking a bit of stick out there. Well, here comes Shane Watson. The ball just runs out. That's out. He's got it. Oh, Paul Collinwood gone for three. This is really there. terrible. Andrew Flintoff comes to the crease well that's whacked away for four that was a cracking shot he really got into position beautifully there that was a confident shot well, we've got to be careful here we can't let them ball us out cheaply oh my god my god. Let's take another look at that in replay. What is going on here? Matt Pryor. We need you, boy. The ball just Oh my out. god. What on earth is happening? That breakthrough now exposes the tail. Well. Hat trick delivery. 77 for 6. It all started so well. I think we need to stop attacking. They're having a shout. It was a little bit ambitious, <laughs> to say the least. With Graham Swanee can bat, and obviously we've still got KP at the other end. It's not all over yet. We've just got to bat these in now after 10 over, Very 77 well for 6. The Seamer to start a new over then. KP is the man. Immaculate timing. Yeah, that's a beautiful shot. 
I think we have to go attacking with KP. We've got to try and get some good runs. Pick the gaps. Brilliant. That's six. What a shot from KP there. That was absolutely brilliant. Middle of the bat. Over the rope. Six runs. That's a good stop. Swanee managed to get there. He's having Oof. some problems with his run up out there. Well, I wonder what Hawkeye made of that. I'm going to be careful, and there's plenty of guys in and around the bat. That's a nice shot, though. Get off the mark. Come back for two. Yeah, nice run in there. Swan's got to go and get a 50. Peterson's got to go and get a big sentry, you would imagine. Yeah. Remember, we can leave uh, shots as well. Which I'm sure we will take advantage of. Few perfectly timed shots. To go through the over. Too happy with that. Shane Watson now to KP. He's hit that very Brilliant. hard. Brilliant shot. Beautiful placement. Four all the way. Jason doing quite well at the minute. Bats when I came back for a second. Good running. But this is uh, very reminiscent of England in 2018. Got to get the defensive shots out for that. Those. But, uh, you know, if we can avoid the follow-on, then that's not control of line and length. The worst. Crucial for a bowler, isn't it, Tony? Line and length shot for is four there. crucial to any bowler. Uh, if you don't bowl the right line and the right length, no matter how much you swing it, no matter how much you spin it, you will find yourself being dispatched, especially if the batsman's any, any good. So, uh, yes, I think that uh, that old um, habit or that old a bit of advice that uh, we used to be given, get a handkerchief out and put it in the area that you consider to be the right length and just practice a way to establish that you've got it right stands good now as it did then. Well, not the worst over for us. Well, Mitchell Johnson back into the attack here. Oh, for God's sake. Yet again. Swan gone for two. Well, and the only guy doing a decent job is KP. Now, I know Stuart Broad was able to bat back then. I'm not sure he's quite got enough to manage this one. We need 86 to avoid the follow on. I'm not sure we can pull that off, to be honest. But we'll try our best. We will try our best. Just gotta try and keep broad at the at the crease. Well he's mistimed that as much as we can. Um for as long as we can and, and let Peterson work his magic from the other end. But it is going to be tough. It really is.
Nice shot. That's a lovely shot for four. Once again from KP. That's beaten the fielder to the fence. That was a fine shot for four. And again, absolutely brilliant. And this is exactly what we need from KP. Picking the gaps. But he needs to bounce back quickly. Very well done. Well, you can't ball three times in the same area, not put a fielder there and expect Peterson not to, not to just whack it through the gap. Okay, they've got uh, some players there now. So just in the nice, simple defensive shot. Good over there for us. Well, the bowlers are taking forward to avoid the follow-on. Fast bowler to start a new over. And just got to be careful with Stu Broad. playing too badly you know we're, we're starting to settle down a little bit and picking our moments to attack rather than just attacking anything and although we are getting outside edges it's it's not carrying Just have to keep doing this with Stu Broad, keep him, keep his wicket, and just let him support. KP, well, edge for four. Well, if you're the bowler, you'll be kicking yourself. You don't want to be conceding boundaries to the tail enders. Well played, Stu Broad, over surviving there. the over. Four runs from that over. The seamer to start a new over then. 72. Well, I think actually exactly 70 to avoid the follow on. That's from the away towards the boundary. It's not going to be quite two. four. Just a, just a two. Nice shot. Coming back for two. It's going to be tight. Oof. Wasn't running quick enough for us there. <laughs> He's on 49 now. Nice shot. And there we go. We run it down to third man and we get the four. And Kevin Peterson brings up his 50. Center. Once again, just like in the 2005 Ashes, is saving his team. Absolutely brilliant from KP. Ooh. That six was a special moment. He's, you know, not just plodding away. He's, he's playing in a, an entertaining brand of cricket. He's having some problems. No with ball as well. Him. And it's going to run away for four. Another four runs for KP. Single-handedly helping us get towards the target. Beautiful stroke. What a shot. It was in the air briefly. That was four runs as soon as he hit it. That's the third boundary of the over. Just not balling in the correct areas. Batsmen are looking for two. No, just a two. So ideally, we'd like to get a single here. Keep Peterson on strike. Yeah, we'll stick with that. Just the single. 
And we move on to 137 for seven. Hugely expensive over. A fast bowler to start a new over. And we'll maybe do a couple of more overs before ending off this episode. Well, Peterson is just uh, on fire today. Back to back for a second. Well, we're just going to stick with two just to make sure Peterson's on strike. Could have had three there, but keep KP around. We know that climatic conditions and the condition of the ball both play a part in generating swing. But would you say that movement in the air is predominantly generated by the bowler's grip or the overall bowling action? Yes, there's no doubt that uh, the whole question of swing bowling is uh, top of mind in the world of cricket at the moment, mainly because uh, you've got um, this thing called reverse swing. My view on swing is a little different to most. As far as I'm concerned, basically, a cricket ball swings because of the natural action of the bowler. As you go through a match, the uh, s well, the outside of the ball obviously changes, and the uh, the process of swing changes. And uh, eventually, after 35 overs, you can get a ball to reverse swing. Now, there is all sorts of talk about what you've got to do to create those situations. I've got to say that uh, over the years, just keeping one side relatively damp and shiny, and the other side dry is the best way to go about it. Well, very interesting insight from Tony Gregg there about swing. But uh, only 43 to avoid the follow-on now, so certainly not too far away. And Stuart Broad doing a very good job of just blocking the ball and making sure that Peterson has a partner. You know, if we get to Anderson and Panasar, it's going to be time. tough. But there we go. An opportunity for Broad to score, and he takes oh, it. Beautiful shot. boundary. Four runs as soon as he hit it. But anything on the stumps, and we're just going to block it. Because why not? You know, that's that's how we're going to get back into this match, is by playing sensibly. That's another good shot from Stuart Broad. That's when it comes back, back for a two. second. Good running. Well, the 150's up now. Broad into double figures. do so we'll do one more Six over and then over. we Seabird will finish the over. episode off let's start the over for Peterson well he's mistimed that it's run away off the edge Go be careful here. Can't be getting Peterson stupidly out. That's a nice shot. Batsmen are looking for two. He sent him back. Get back! Oh my word, here. that was close. No ball. And plenty of no balls today. No ball. And this another is one. Another wow. no ball. Edged. Maybe just need to tone it down for these last two deliveries. We cannot afford Peterson to be out. Yeah. 
struggling with timing it correctly. That's better. And well, that is where we're going to leave it for this episode. It's very much in the balance. 154 for 7. Still trail by 32. Need another 33 in the next episode. If we are to avoid the follow-on. If you've enjoyed... Pardon me. If you've enjoyed that, then make sure you leave a like down below. It really does help me out. It means a lot to me as well. Subscribe to the channel for regular cricket content. And I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Thanks for watching and goodbye.